I am making a Blackwing deck profile since I've managed to get all the new stuff and was also learning a combo. But plant, messing around with the deck, I, I really like it. And the only thing I seems to actually lose to is a is basically Nibiru, but even then I don't think it's that big of an issue. Depending on what you have when you get Nibiru, I should say. Anyway... The deck's really fun, and this is a, well, most of my friends call it a pure synchro version. But this is just experimental, so for now, this is what I'm playing. Start with the monsters, I play one copy of Oro Blackwing Oroshi the Squall. Oroshi the Squall has the effect if you control Blackwing other than another copy of Oroshi the Squall. You can special summon from your hand. You can only get special summon Oroshi the Squall once per turn this way. And then was more. Okay, it, that's pretty much the only effect that matters. That's the only other effect just lets you change the battle position of a monster with sent as synchro material. Then I play one copy of Blackwing Chinook, the Snow Blast, and Chinook has the effect that. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target one face up monster your opponent controls, send a Blackwing Synchro or one Blackwing Dragon from your extract to the graveyard. And if you do, till the end of this turn, that target loses 700 attack, also negates effects. This is, is a quick effect, your opponent controls a. er, blah. This, it's a quick effect if you control a Dark Synchro. And then you only use each effect of Chinook the Snow Blast once per turn. And then I am proxying for the next one because I have them on the way, but I don't have them yet. Which is three copies of Blackwing Shanga the Waning Moon. Shanga is a level 2 Dark Winged Beast tuner with 500 attack and defense and has the effect of if a monster with 2,000 or more attack is on the field, you special summon it from your hand. You can only special summon it once per turn this way. And then. You can banish this card from your graveyard if you control a Blackwing Synchro monster as a quick effect. So then target one face-up card your opponent controls and destroy it. You can only use this effect of Blackwing Sharnga the Waning Moon once per turn. Or once per turn. Once per duel. So I'm trying it at three, but I'm probably going to end up cutting it down to one or two since it is very much searchable. Which I will... I don't know, I'm still messing around. Once I actually have the deck figured out how I want to play it and how I want to build, I will do another deck profile. I also play three copies of Blackwing Vada, the Emblem of Wandering. Wandering has the effect of if you control a Blackwing other than itself, you can special summon it. Only special summon it once per turn that way. And then during your main phase, you can send this card from on the field to the graveyard along with one or more non-tuner blackwing monsters from your deck so the total levels equal or exceed eight and if you do special summon a blackwing dragon from your extra deck also you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except dark monsters and you can only act use each effect of blackwing vada the emblem of honor once per turn which at the end of the video i will go over a combo that gets you to three copies of this deck's version of Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, which will severely cripple your opponent to the point where they might actually beat themselves for you. And then I play one copy of Blackwing Harmatan the Dust and one copy of Blackwing Steam the Cloak. Harmatan has the effect uh, of if you control Blackwing other than Harmatan, you can special summon it. You can only special summon it once per turn that way. And then... What is it? When this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one other Blackwing monster you control to increase this card's level by that monster's level. So this is just there so that if you want to summon a level 8 Synchro, you can spe and it has some like Gale the Whirlwind in play, you can special summon this, target Gale, and then it'll increase its level by 3, making it level 5, so then you can make a level 8. Well, usually you'll have it target a level 2, so like, summon Vada, special this, have it target itself, and then from there you can make a level 6 syn synchro. 
but that hey. Then I play three copies of Blackwing Gale of the Whirlwind. Free special summon if you control a Blackwing. You can only special summon it once per turn. And it has the quick or quick effect. It has the effect of once per turn, you can target one monster your, your opponent controls, change it its or have its attack and defense. I'm gonna try saying that without stuttering. You target one monster your opponent controls, have its attack and defense until the end of the turn. Then we I play three copies of Blackwing Sudri. I accidentally just dropped a third. Blackwing Sudri, the, the Phantom Glimmer. The Sudri has the effect of when it's normal sun, you can add a card that mentions Blackwing Dragon from your deck to your hand other than Sudri. Then you can tribute one monster, special summon one Phantom Glimmer token. That is a Dark Wing Beast tuner with 700 attack and defense. And then you take 700 points of damage. You cannot special summon monsters when you check for or the turn you activate this effect, except Synchro Monsters. Which, that effect of Sudri is the main reason why this is a purely Synchro deck. Which, I don't play Raider's Knight and Arc Rebellion, even though I probably, sh not only could I, but I should. But, because of how Sudri's effect is actually relevant half the time, I'd rather have more synchro options than that, which that is one thing I should probably consider is that in games two or three, I am very susceptible or will very much lose to a dimensional barrier. Anyway, next I play three copies of Blackwing Shamal the Sandstorm. Shamal has the effect that you can disact. After its effect in hand, to discard it to then place a Black Feather Whirlwind from your deck face up in your spell and trap zone. And then it has another effect where if, if a Black Wing Synchro Monster or a Black Wing Dragon Special Summon dwells cards in your graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a Black Wing in your grave, add it to your hand, then take 700 damage. And you can only use. I think it, you can only use each effect once per turn. You can only use each effect of Shamal once per turn. Then I play one copy of Blackwing Zephyros the Elite. Zephyros has the effect of while it's in the graveyard, you can target one face up card you control, return it to your hand, summon it, and then take 700 damage. And you can only use that effect of Zephyros the Elite once per duel. Mm -hmm. Then I play three copies of Blackwing Samoon the Poison Wind. Samoon the Poison Wind has the effect of you can banish a Blackwing from your, on other Blackwing from your hand. To spe, or to then I was awarded. You can banish one other Blackwing monster from your hand to then place a Black Whirlwind from your deck face up in your spell and trap zone. And then you can either Send this card to the graveyard or immediately after it resolves, normal summon without tributing, which you're never going to just send this to the grave, you're always going to normal summon it. Because then it's normal summon will trigger Black Whirlwind. And then you cannot special summon from the X-Shack for the rest of the turn except for dark monsters, which doesn't matter because everything in the X-Shack is dark. And then you can only use each of you can only use the effect of Black Wings to move the poison ones per duel, and then during the end phase. Send the Black Whirlwind, place by its effect to the graveyard, and if you do, take a thousand damage. Which, that effect doesn't really matter that much, because... Like I said, it just helps you build a bigger board that... In theory, with how the combos work, should not lose to Dark Ruler no more. And then moving on to the spells, I play... Two copies of Black Feather Whirlwind. Black Feather Whirlwind has the effect that once per turn, if you, if you special summon a Dark Synchro monster from your extra deck, except during the damage step, you can target one of your Blackwing monsters or Blackwing dragon that is banished or in your graveyard with less attack, special summon that monster. And then once per turn, if a Dark monster you control be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can move a Black Feather counter from your field instead. 
Then I play three copies of Black Whirlwind. Black Whirlwind just has the effect of if you normal summon a Blackwing monster, you can add a Blackwing from your deck to your hand that has less attack than the summoned monster. Which is not once per turn at all, which is part of the reason why this is a dumb card for Black Wings. Then for the traps, I play three copies of Black Sonic and one copy of Black Wing Twin Shadow. Black Sonic has the effect when your opponent tar er, bleh, declares an attack on a Black Wing monster you control. Banish all face of protection monsters your opponent controls. You can activate from your hand if you control exactly three Black Wings. And can you control other things? Okay. You can activate from your hand if you control three black wings and no other monsters. And then black black wing twin shadow has the effect of you can activate it from hand. Where is it? If you control two or more black wings. And I'm going to. You can activate from your hand if you control two or more Blackwing monsters. You can only hit one Twin Shadow per turn. But as the effect, if you can shuffle two of your Blackwing monsters, a tuner and non-tuner, that are banished and or in your graveyard into the deck and, extra, and or extra deck, special on one Blackwing Synchro monster or Blackwing Dragon from your extra deck whose level equals the total levels of those two monsters. This is treated as a Synchro Summon. Which, I mainly use this so that because this is, card is how you will be unable to be to lose to Dark Ruler no more. Because you'll activate this in response with another monster in the extra deck in play, which can ne then negate the Dark Ruler no more. And then for the hand traps, I play three copies of Droll and Lockbird. Just so that when your opponent gets one search and then they can't move any cards from the deck to the hand. Three copies of Ash just so they can't or to negate any effect that would summon from summon from deck, add from deck to hand, or send from deck to grave. Then I also play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Infinite Impermanence just lets you, if you control no cards, lets you target one monster on the, your opponent controls, lets you target an effect monster your opponent controls, negates effects on the end of the turn. And if this card was set on the field when it was activated, it then also negates all spells and traps in the same column as it, which will include your own. So if you activate on your turn, do not activate spells or traps in its column. It will not end well for you. And that is it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck, I play two copies of Blackwing No Thung the Starlight. No Thung has the effect of one special summoned. Whereas this card is special on you inflict 800 points of damage to your opponent while also weakening an opponent's monster by 800 attack. Which, you inflict the 800 and then the weakening of monster is optional. Let's, and then, you can only use that effect of Blackwing Nothing on the Starlight once per turn. And then during your main phase, you can normal summon one Blackwing monster in addition to your normal summon set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. Then I play one copy of Blackwing... Boreas Storm, the Wicked, the Wicked Wind, and it has the effect of, if this card is Synchro Summon, you can send a Blackwing from deck to grave, and if you do, this card's level becomes the same as the monsters, as the sent monster. So if you send a level 4, it becomes level 4. Send a level 2, it's level 2. And then, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can banish a Blackwing from your grave or face up field. And then spe special summon the destroyed monster to your field and defense position. I'm sorry I had to stop and read the card again because the way it's worded seemed weird. Because it says you can banish a blacking monster from your graveyard or face up field except the destroyed monster. So that except the destroyed monster threw me off for a bit for some reason. I don't know why. But that effect hardly ever comes up. The main one that does come up is that effect that just sends Zephyrus to the grave. 
And then L4, then just go from there. Then I play three copies of Assault Blackwing Rikiri the Rain Shower. I will never build a Blackwing deck and not include three copies of Rikiri the Rain Shower. Rikiri has the effect of once per turn, you can target cards on your opponent's field up to the number of other Blackwing monsters you control and destroy them. It, it, then it also has the effect too as Synchro Summon using only Black Wings, then it becomes a tuner. That effect doesn't really matter. The main thing that matters is its effect to the target back row and destroy them. As Mainly just because I like the idea of being able to have three right here and then just be able to destroy six cards my opponent controls. Because right here is not a hard ones per turn, it is a soft ones per turn. So if you summon it, use its effect, get off the field, and bring it back, you can use its effect again because it's now considered a different card. I think that's how that ruling would be is worded. Then we also play one copy of Assault Blackwing Chidori the Rain Sprinkling. This card's only in here because it gets really big sometimes as it gains... How much is it? 300? It gains 300 attack for each Blackwing in your graveyard. And when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target a Blackwing Synchro in your grave, except for Chidori, and special summon it. Then I play one copy of Blackwing Tamer Obsidian Hawk Joe. Joe's effect is it acquires a. Er, you can target a level 5 or higher Winged Beast monster in your graveyard, special summon it. During either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets only this card, or when your opponent targets this card for an attack, you can target one other Blackwing monster you control that would be an appropriate target. That card slash effect or attack now targets that new target. You can only use this effect of Obsidian or Blackwing Tamer Obsidian Hawk Joe once per turn. So essentially what that effect means is if your opponent would target it with something like uh Like something with a, like Effect Veiler, you can activate its effect, move the Effect Veiler to another one of your Black Wings. Like one that's already used its effect. So that, that one will be negated, but the Hawk won't be. Or if it's target for an attack, you can redirect the attack to one of your other Black Wings. Which, that effect won't usually come up. The main one that will come up is you can use this to just keep recurring no thunk from your graveyard. They also play one copy of Black Winged Dragon. Black Winged Dragon's mainly in here because it has to be. But it has the effect of if you would take effect damage, you can place one Black Feather counter. I think that's how, what it is. Yeah, you can place a Black Feather counter on it. It loses 700 attack for each Black Feather counter. Then once per turn, you can remove all Black Feather counters from this card to have one face up monster opponent controls lose 700 for each Black Feather counter. And inflict damage equal to the attack lost by that monster with its effect. Which, technically, that can come up as, as a kind of time rule thing. But I absolutely hate the current time rules, and I think it should go back to turns. Then I also play one copy of Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Abyss is in here because you can use Oroshi and Blackwing Dragon to make it. And if you have a Twin Shadow set, if your opponent tries to go Dark Ruler, you can activate Twin Shadow in response and then chain Abyss to negate the Dark Ruler. And then I also play two copies of Blackwing Full Armor Master. Full Armor Master is in this deck mainly because it's unaffected by everything. And then it also has the effect of... Each time an opponent's monster activates a, a, its effect, place a wedge counter on that opponent's monster. After that effect resolves, and then once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls with a wedge counter, take control of it. Once per turn during your end phase, destroy all monsters on the field that have a wedge counter. I just like this card because it's more or less a like a secondary boss monster, as the primary boss monster will be the three copies of Black Winged Assault Dragon. Assault Dragon has... The main thing with it is you can special summon or the man. You can special summon it by banishing a what was it? A Blackwing Dragon and a Blackwing Synchro. 
Must either be Synchro Summoned or Special Summoned from your extra deck by banishing one Tuner Synchro Monster and a Blackwing Dragon that from your face-up field and or graveyard. And each time your opponent activates a monster effect, place a Black Feather counter on this card when that effect resolves. And if you do, inflict 700 damage to your opponent. During your opponent's turn quick effect, you contribute this card with four or more Black Feather counters on it. Destroy all cards on the field. But the main thing is there's actually a two card combo with his deck that will make it so that you get three of these and abyss with a set uh twin shadow and it's all off of one one monster effect but that is it for the extra deck i will now move on to the combo So the combo just requires Samoon and literally any Blackwing. It really doesn't matter what, what the other card is. But what you will do is you will activate Samoon's effect, banishing the other Blackwing to then place your Black Whirlwind face up in your spell and trap zone and then normal summon Samoon. And then your Whirlwind's effect will activate to then be able to grab your copy of Sudri, which you will then normal summon the Sudri and go chain one Sudri, chain two Whirlwind, where you will add Shamal. Wait. Okay. You will add, doesn't matter which one you add off of which, but you will end up adding Shamal and Vada. And then after that, You'll use Shamal's effect. I sure don't remember what it is. But you just send it to the graveyard to then place a Black Feather Whirlwind to face up in your spell and trap zone. Then you will special summon Vada. Let's see, where is it? And then you'll activate Vada's effect on summon. Or, then you'll activate its effect, sending itself with Chinook and Zephyros to the grave. Special summon Black Winged Dragon. I'm just checking my list to make sure I'm going in the right order because I still haven't memorized this. And then Feather Whirlwind's effect will summon Vada back to the field. And then you'll use Sudri's effect, tributing Samoon, to then special summon a token. And then you will tune the token. Make sure I'm doing this right order. Tune the token with Sudri to summon Nothung. Nothung will activate as chain one and chain two will be your Shamal in your grave to return Sudri back to your hand. And then you inflict 800 damage to your opponent. Then you will use a second normal summon to summon Sudri. And then you will use or chain one Sudri and then chain two Whirlwind. Whirlwind will add Oroshi to your hand And Sudri will add Twin Shadow. So Whirlwind will add Oroshi. Sudri adds Twin Shadow to hand. And then you will tune Vada with Sudri. To then make Borea Storm. And then Borea Storm's effect. Let's see, you want to make it level four. So you send a, another Shamal to grave. And then you will use Zephyrus effect in your grave by returning the Black, the black Feather Whirlwind to hand. Summon the. Zephyrus. 
then you will reactivate the whirlwind. And then to Boreas Storm with no thumb to make your first black winged assault dragon. And then you will use Black Feather Whirlwind's effect to summon back Boreas Storm. And then this is where you will then special summon Oroshi the Squall. Because if you do not do it now, you will not have a Black Wing to do it later. Then tune Oroshi with Black Winged Dragon to summon Hot er, Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Tune Borea Storm with Zephyros so that you can summon your second Black Winged Assault Dragon. Then, after that, you banish Borea Storm and Black Winged Dragon from your graveyard to then special summon the third Black Winged Assault Dragon. And then you can then you will set your twin black wing twin shadow, and then that is it for this combo. As it ends with your three black wing assault dragons, a bane, and your twin shadow. Oh yeah! And during the end phase, this will be destroyed. You'll take a thousand damage. But the main thing here is you still have three cards in your hand. And this is the end board with just Samoon and another Blackwing. So what this board does is your opponent activates a monster effect. They take 2,100 points of damage, and they've also already taken 800. So they'll only be able to activate three monster effects before they end up losing. If they activate a fourth monster effect and not realizing that their life points are so low, then they will lose. Yeah, that's the only downside of this compared to doing Triple Masquerade the Blazing Dragon with Brandon because Masquerade makes you pay 700 whereas this will inflict 700. So the downside here is that your opponent can use spells and traps without having to pay a life point or lose life points. But the other downside of Masquerade is you can't win off of it alone. Which technically you can, but it won't be because of it. Anyway, that is it for the Blackwing combo part of this video. If you have any ideas like it to improve the deck, any ideas decks like to see be made in the future, or decks like to see face each other, such as Blackwing and Red Dragon Archfiend, feel free to comment that down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.